Okay, should I buy this book? Yeah, in the ring with James J. Jeffries. Um, bear with us. This is James Jeff. This is James J. Jeffries in front here. This is training before the Gus Rulon fight, I believe. Might might be wrong. So, what do I think of the book? Okay, so it's James. It's uh, it's it's a book wrote by Adam Pollock. Okay, so these books are relatively new. I didn't realise that. Obviously, when you look at a book on James J. Jeffries. You just automatically think, oh, it's a really old book because no one writes about him. Well, these books were wrote in the last 10 years. Uh, I might have been five years ago. They're, they're very new. This um, this Adam Pollock guy is basically uh, writing books. Now, to understand the the way he writes, um, you've got uh, you've got to understand that what ha- the way he writes the books are, he does the fights in order in order of the person, you know, obviously, um, so, you know, with James, he starts from the very first fight, um, so the books gives you an instruction, it tells you a little bit about his childhood growing up, and then we get straight into the fights, and every fight has all the rounds listed for you, you can, you can read the fights, um, and it gives you all the information, so, would I buy the book, yes, 100%, this book is absolutely, um, you will only need this book if you want to understand what James J. Jeffries was about. Um, it, it basically, the way Pollock, um, no, it's funny saying Pollock because I always think of the artist, the way Pollock writes, um, the way he correlates it all, he explains that he gets all the newspaper clippings from the time. So all the data, everything you could possibly get, not data from, you know, from 10 years ago where someone's wrote a Reddit post on James J. Jeffries was part of the LGBTQ community. Um, that's not the the um, that's not the uh the references he uses um he uses the stuff straight from the papers from the time and that is what i like about it that he correlates it all you know essentially what i'm saying is that pr- probably if you spent long enough on the web um and you wanted to um you know work out the the peter jackson fight for instance you could probably do that and get to the same conclusion as pollock but man, would it take you a long time. It would take you a long time. You're not going to get the full picture. You'd probably struggle to get the full picture fully. Um, you know, you do need historical, you know, there'd be some, a lot of papers that are not on the internet, stuff like that. But you could probably do it if you really wanted. I don't know. I don't know exactly where he gets his papers from, his sources from. Um, but he does get stuff from Box Record and stuff like that. So there is stuff coming from different sources. But basically, the the book reads factually um, what the world see it. You know, it's you know what. For instance, there was um, you know early in uh, Jeffrey's career when he sparred Jimmy James Corbett, um, there was a rumor that he went down, and Pollock investigates this rumor that you know this paper said that. Um, you know, 10 years later, James Jeffrey said this in an interview, um, this paper was actually there, they said this is what happened, very investigative, very investigative, and it's fascinating, it's fascinating, um, is this the best book I've read in a long time, probably, it's so, honestly, it's so packed, this book cost me 26 quid, okay, it's got 600 pages, um, I think it's more like it's 600 more but around 650 pages um there are obviously pages that are more indexy stuff but the majority there's probably 600 pages of solid reading there every fight um going up to um the Jack Johnson fight now I believe um the reason why that might be the case is because Jack Johnson's he would have had to explain it in Jack Johnson's book as well and maybe that's the precedent he took i don't know um but i i read on amazon i don't know there because i 100 percent because um i'm not at that stage in the book obviously you can see where i'm at with the bookmark um tiny bit through but i read online someone said that look it doesn't have the jack johnson fight which is a shame which is a very much a shame um but yeah i don't know why but in terms of if you're studying james jeffrey's um, and you want to understand his life, his career, uh, who he fought, and um, 
in an interesting factual way, you can't go wrong. This book is a 10 out of 10 without a shadow of a doubt. If I had to buy a book, um, I will be buying his other books because when I study fighters, I want a decent source of information somewhere that I can go to almost essentially like a Bible for James J. Jeffries. Um, and so the last point I make is so when you're reading the fights, again, it's done in a very picturesque way. I say picturesque, it can create a it can paint an image in your mind and it does. The way he way he writes, it's almost like you're there because you can smell the tobacco and you know, he doesn't mention stuff like that, but he kind of gives you the factual stuff, you know, this fight happened here, this is what the room looked like, it, you know, if they can find a data on it, um, you know, this is, it was in a small place, it was this, um, you know, originally the fight was this, but um, it got postponed, you know, there's so much, and then he gives you a round-to-round account from every source that he can find, so this newspaper said this, um, this happened, you know what I mean, it gives you a good thing, so when, you know, I was reading the um, Peter Jackson fight last night and uh, I was so eager to get to the fight because I was building, it was like a build up for me, you know, three months prior, James Jeffrey said this, then, uh, to, you know, to, then the fight got called off a little bit um, because there was issues with Tom Sharkey and um, another fighter that it looked like the first, the purse was uh, fixed and, um, because of that, they didn't want to fight, so the Peter Jackson fight got taken off, but then it was back on, and then it gives you everything. It, honestly, if you're interested in boxing history, um, you really have to buy this. You really do. If you want to read about James Jeffries, um, you have to buy this. There's no point um, There's no point if you're not, you know, if you're not into boxing history, don't buy it, because it's just in a history book. Um, but if you're not into boxing and you're not into history, I'm not sure why you're watching this video. So there you go. Uh, definitely buy it. It is worth every penny. Trust me.